Becky Bullock here and today I just want to show you how you can add a mortgage calculator to your website. So I am here in command uh, agent.kw.com and I have come down to the very last um, thing on the left which is for consumer. When you actually click in here it will take you to your landing page and if you'll just come over to agent site pages and we're going to come over here and hit create new. We are going to hit create new and we're going to build a page on your agent site and then hit create page. Now from here what we are going to do is um, first of all if we want to make sure we name it we're going to just call it And this name up here, it can be anything. It's just to help you manage your pages when you're pulling them in. And then we're going to come into here and we're going to come down to the layout blocks. Sorry. We're going to come to the content. Sorry, layout blocks. And we're going to do a third of a section. They just changed what this looks like now. So we're going to come to this th third section. We're going to go ahead and drop this in. Now it's not going to look like you have anything in there, but if you actually start going across the tops here, you'll see that you um, have three separate boxes. Okay, and then we're going to come back up to the content block and we're going to insert text into the middle box. Okay, and for now that's all we're going to do over here. Now we're going to come and open a new page within our browser and go to mortgagecalculator.org mortgagecalculator.org and once you get to this page you'll come over the way to the right where it says widgets and now you have a couple different things that you can do you can either get this calculator where it's just something small on the side of a page or I wanted a full page so here I went to the full page calculator and you can see that it's going to actually, that's what it's going to look like right here. Okay, now to capture this full page, I'm gonna come down here to step two and I'm going to copy my source code. And so I'm going to come over here and hit copy. And you can see that it said copied when I clicked it, copied, okay. I'm now going to come back to the page I was building and I'm going to get rid of this text here first and now I'm just going to insert my text there. Okay, so that's all I have on this page. Now to be able to configure this widget I do have to add something into the bottom of this page and so what I typically like to do is a contact form so if they're looking up mortgage information then they have my contact information right there at the very bottom and they can they can get it. Okay, so I have now grabbed the contact form. I have drug it over into my, um, the sheet that we are making for our website and I can now configure widget. And we can see that it's already done and I can hit done. Now, once I have done this, I'm gonna come up and save the pages. I now have to go and actually put it onto my website. Again, I am over here in the consumer. I am up underneath agent site pages and I'm going to go to site and app settings. And this is and then I'm going to come over here to site pages. These are the pages that are on my website, okay? If I want to add another one, all I'm going to do is hit add page. And I'm going to go out and find the page that I'm looking to add. And it's going to be this mortgage calculator. And I'm going to hit continue. And now on my page title, I can just call it over here on the slug. And you can see what the name is going to be. So first it will be the HTTPS your website.kw.com and then whatever you put after here. Now I'm actually going to put
There can't be spaces, but there can be dashes. Okay, and then down here, I'm just going to uh, put a, a small SEO description. And um, on this, I can just put, you know, Figure your mortgage um, payment for your dream home. It's short and simple. Okay, now I'm just going to come down here and hit save page changes. And I can see that that was changed. I can now come back up to my URLs, sorry, to my agent site pages. Things are not responding. Um, and go out to my website and go ahead and look for that page. So now I see that I have this pay, uh, mortgage calculator here on my page and when you get to the very bottom they also have the they can ask me any questions and contact me about it. Okay one other thing I did want to show you on your website is if you actually come over here and log in like you're going to be a consumer just want to show you this. You can come up here to the word guide and there are buying and selling guides now up here on, on your consumer sites. So it's kind of a, a nice little thing to have that's basically added up there and you can, um, if you log in as a consumer or send this to a consumer and have them log in. They can then go start going through the process and showing, they can just start, okay, we've been through this, we can mark that one off, we can mark that one off, they can hit the completed, or they can come down and go to the next step, or they can hit the previous step. So just another little cool thing to uh, show you about your website. Again, uh, you know, if you have any questions about how adding a mortgage calculator to your website, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, happy to help. G hope you go out and make it an amazing day today and do amazing things with your website. Have a good one.